everybody this is Zoe from No Safer Place and welcome back to another Worth the Hype video. Now for those of you that aren't familiar with the Worth the Hype segment I choose books that are really hotly anticipated and tell you if I think they are worthy of the hype surrounding them. Now the book that I've chosen today I actually received in the post about three hours ago. I finished it about 20 minutes ago so I think that kind of shows you the answer to is this book really worthy of the hype. So this book is one in a series of four about the DC Comics. Wonder Woman came out last year. The one that I'm about to talk about comes out next month and Catwoman and Superman come out later in the year I believe. I have always loved superheroes. I was a huge fan of Marvel Comics a few years back and I collected them but I've never been a DC Comics kind of girl. Obviously I love DC and they're actually my favourite superheroes if I had to choose, but I've never really got into the comics. I was really wary about reading the books. I haven't read Wonder Woman, it just didn't really appeal to me. Obviously there was so much hype surrounding that book and it's been the same with this one. So carry on watching this video to see if Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu is worth the hype. First of all, can we just appreciate the cover? I think this cover is absolutely gorgeous. If you want a closer look, this is what it looks like. Wow. So the story focuses on how Bruce Wayne became Batman. Now it doesn't really end as Bruce Wayne being Batman, but the idea is put there, the hints are slowly sinking in and some of the things that he says and the things that he does, the clothes that he wears, you really get the idea that this man will someday grow up to become the amazing superhero that is Batman. So Bruce Wayne has just turned 18 years old. We are told that Bruce's parents died when he was very young and now that he is at the age of 18, his trust funds have been released. The first thing he does, which I'm sure many 18 year old boys would do, is buy a flash new car. Now he does something pretty damn reckless with this new car and he ends up having to serve five weeks community service. And the place that he has to serve it? is Arkham Asylum. Now, if you're a fan of the films or the comics or the books, you will know what Arkham Asylum is. And I was so excited to see what Marie's take on Arkham Asylum was like. If you don't know, Arkham Asylum is home to some of the most notorious criminals in Gotham City. And it's here that he meets the infamous Madeline Wallace. He discovers that she is one of the asylum's most notorious criminals. She is an 18 year old girl. He finds out that she is very elusive, she won't speak to anyone, that is until she meets him. They strike up this really unlikely friendship and they find that they're telling each other things. And before Bruce knows it, he is brought into the case because he is the only one that she is willing to talk to and she has been in there for a long time. They think that she is a member of this group called the Nightwalkers. Now they are a group of people that are going to philanthropists, very rich people and stealing all their money and then killing the person with that money. They don't seem like very nice people do they? So they believe that she is a member of this group called the Nightwalkers. They think that she has more information about them than she is letting on and they want Bruce to find out all this on his own. Bruce thinks he knows what he's doing but as the reader, you can tell that he's getting more and more tangled into this web of Madeline and we do not know what is truth and or what is lies. I don't want to say any more than that, but let me just say, I could not put this book down. In YA, we don't get many young male voices as the narrator of the book, so I was so, so happy about this. I thought the narration was fantastic. I loved all the secondary characters that were involved that we all know so well if we like the Batman series, like Alfred, Harvey Dent, Detective Gordon. It was very nostalgic for me and it was so believable. I could really believe that this was Bruce Wayne's beginnings. So if you're asking me whether I think this book is worthy of the hype, 100% yes. It's actually made me think about going out and buying Wonder Woman now because although Wonder Woman was never really my cup of tea, I definitely want to give it a try now because if it's half as amazing as this, I will definitely love it. And also there's chapter one of Catwoman in the back of this, which I am so excited for. Catwoman is my favourite superhero in the DC world and Sarah J Maas, I love her writing so I cannot wait for that one later in the year. If you've read this book, let me know what you thought of it. I always love to hear your opinions on books, especially ones that have been really hyped up. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you would like to see more of on my channel and I hope to see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.